Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another beer review on Cheater Beers. My name is Travis, as always. And I told you guys I was trying to stockpile some reviews, so sorry for posting so many in a row, but I wanted to get some uh, piled up for you guys to watch while I'm on vacation. And I figured I would do a, a big can review or a uh, mass-produced beer review before I headed out, to get to because I haven't done one for a little while. So, you know, kind of want to do one. I went to the store, looked around, grabbed the coolest can I could find, and that was natural ice and this is obviously brewed by anheuser-busch and it says ice brewed for naturally smooth taste 5.9 percent alcohol so on the high side it's not a light beer and uh, i'm not sure if they actually put the calories on this one um just because it's not a light beer but i don't think i've actually ever had this beer so that should be interesting got it poured in my big 25 ounce mug so let's get into natural ice from anheuser-busch I mean, do I really need to talk about the appearance? It's the same as all the other beers. It's like pure yellow, fizzy, carbonation, no head. Let's just go ahead and get the smell. Yeah, and I guess why do I even talk about the smell either? This one almost doesn't have any sweetness to the smell. It's just this kind of corn grain kind of smell, straw maybe. Um, just not a, not a good smell at all, really. Yeah, it's kind of this wet hay. Um, wet straw, you know, this not not good smell. There's no sweetness to it. There's no hops to it. It's just this one. Okay, here we go, guys. Cheers on the natural ice from Anheuser Busch. Well, the taste isn't too bad. I mean, it's actually really, really light, and you kind of hardly taste anything. So, uh, it's not too bad. You do get a little more sweetness in the taste than you do in the smell. You do also kind of get some of that that uh, malt or, or grain taste that's in there too, and it's not too bad. It's very, very smooth, uh, not too carbonated, but it tastes not so bad so far. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's not too sweet. Um, it's just sweet enough and it has some of that grain. It's actually, it's not pleasing on the palate. It just kind of goes down good and uh, it's not that bad really. I was expecting this to be a lot worse. All right guys, well, I think I've had enough sips. I mean, it's not changing a lot, but I'm gonna sip on this one for a little bit longer and I'll come back to my final thoughts on my rating on this beer. And I might do a, uh, you know, a, a macro beer rating or whatever you call it and then a, uh, an actual beer rating from me. Um, on this one, because since you know, since I've decided to maybe do those on these beers, but the one I'm going to do it on is Natural Ice from Anheuser Busch. Hey everybody, back to my final thoughts, my rating on Natural Ice from Anheuser Busch. And this one is actually a, kind of a step up from your light beer. You know, Natural Ice. I find that some of these beers that are ice beers, per se, are. Uh, actually better than the uh, the regular light versions you know this one's actually pretty good and it's very drinkable i think as long as i keep it cold enough and drink it fast enough it's very very smooth it's not that bad so i think on the bmc or macro produced um beer i'm gonna give this one like a seven out of ten and that's not that's pretty good actually you know this for macro produced beer i this i could drink this one all, all day man and i'm very surprised you know i think it's like a buck 29 a can almost six percent alcohol Definitely a solid beer. If you're if you're drinking like a you know you know a Bud Light or something, or you're buying a little bit more expensive beer, you might want to check this one out and try it and see what you think of it because you might be uh, might be wasting your money and this one might be a bang for your buck at almost six percent. You know, drinking a little bit of less of this, spending a little less money, it's cheaper. So you might want to check this one out. <laughs> but on the uh, on my beer scale, <laughs> I'm gonna have to give this one actually a three out of ten. Um, you know, like I said, it's it's still that same kind of grainy. Um, corn flavored, you know, taste. I, I don't know sure if they use corn in this, but it's, it's a, uh, it's not the great. It's just okay. Um, you know, I, I might get it again if I'm out at a bar and I'm, I'm trying to get drunk or trashed and, uh, and I need a beer to buy. I might buy this one, um, if it's cheap enough. I'll say that. But you know, yeah, three out of ten. It kind of is what it is. Nothing to seek out if you're into craft beer. But if you're into something that's going to drink pretty smooth and pretty good you might want to seek this out and if you're looking for a good beer pong beer this might be a little bit of step up for some more alcohol than those light beers so until next time cheers